Thursday challenge with Mr. Smith and Mr. Hall. Good morning, students. We're going to be doing football today, um, just some ball control and some skills, and then we'll finish with a fun challenge at the end of it. As usual, um, do your warm up. Make sure this time I want you to go for a five minute jog because you're allowed out now. So we need to go for a five minute jog to raise your pulse. Dynamic stretches, I want to see high knees, heel flicks, squat jumps, star jumps, five burpees. Dynamic exercises to get you warm. Then, um, your static stretches. So that's the start of it, Mr. Hall. Okay guys, so make sure that you follow what Sir just said, because we don't want any muscles pulled and stuff like that. Okay? Right, we stopped it. Okay, same challenge, five minutes. Head, control volley, or five, control volley. Okay, final challenge. Final challenge, you need a space. Okay, so we've got the sport tool. And with this final challenge, you're working on your passing over a distance. So, I've got the gymnastics box, but you could use a bin, or you could use a large box, or anything like a hoop as a target to pass into, okay? So you can do it with one ball, and keep going and collecting your ball, or you can have a series of balls. And all you're trying to do is pass it into that area, okay? And remember, that is my target. If I hit the target, if I hit the target, if I hit the box, I get five points. If I bounce it and get into the box, I get eight points. If it goes straight in the box, ten points. This is a fun challenge just to finish, okay? Again, think about the session we did last time when we are passing through. You need my inset to lift the ball, or I can get under the ball and chip. So I'll show you a few different attempts. So I will show and I will show. Okay? So get up. I've hit the target. I get five points. So I'll show. One of the one of the most important bit of technique you're gonna have to remember, which Sir just executed excellently, was making sure his non-kicking foot was in line with that ball. Bam. Okay, make sure your non-kicking foot is in line with the ball. If it's behind it, the ball will go up. Okay, so I'm going to attempt the same thing. Good on the power. Good technique though. Again, really good technique, but overhit it. But can you get the gist of what the challenge is? Five if I hit it. If I bounce it in, I get eight. If it goes straight in, it's ten. Just a little chip. Lovely. Okay? No points. I've missed the target. The first time I hit the target, I get five, and so on. Practice as many times as possible and try and get the technique right. Okay? Mr. Smith signing out. I hope you have a really good day, guys, and I hope you're really well. Take care. Keep going, guys. Look forward to doing some more videos for you. Okay. It's all about in step being able to punch the ball to clear, or to punch the ball to score a goal, or even just to pass it to a partner, or pass it to a teammate. So the key thing is using the wall as your teammate, okay? Control using your instep and making sure you get a good contact with that big surface on the inside of your foot. Now, I'm gonna be showing you an easier version. So my version is just gonna be bounce, getting the bounce right. When I get the bounce right, I'm gonna go Right foot, left foot, 
one bounce, where Sir's going to show a different version. And my version is going to be a little bit more punch. So again, catching it, throwing it to the wall, catching it, and when you're ready, we're going to punch it in. Okay, drop, punch, drop, punch. A little harder. So, okay. Some of you guys that are pretty good, you might want to try using your lace even. So the technique for using your lace, make sure that the toes are pointing down to the floor and you're kicking it with actually your laces. Show again. Right okay. foot. Laces. Okay. Challenge number two. Now we challenge number two, we're now using our foreheads, okay? So we must make sure we can get good contact to get used to the distance. You want to throw and then punch it in against the wall. Now, two different headers. When you're heading, move back a bit. Head down as an attacking header. Head down as an attacking header. Make sure you throw it hard enough, head down. Defensive header, head up, head up, head up. Try to head up. So two different techniques. The defensive header we're looking for, height and distance, attacking header, punching it down. Okay? Make sure each drill that we're doing, you practice each thing for a good five to ten minutes. When we're heading, have a break. Don't want you to get dizzy, don't want you to feel sick. Header, no more than two minutes of heading. And also focus on the ball because if the ball hits you, it's going to hurt. But if you hit the ball, it doesn't hurt. Okay? Okay, so that means attack the ball. Good teaching point, sir. Thanks for that. So, drill number three, okay, is a combination of both. So you can let it bounce like I did. Control, volley. Okay, or like Sir did, drop it in front. Keep it, whoops, keep it up. Volley. Or, come in. Head, control, volley. Head, control, volley. Head, control, volley. Okay? So you're working on your touch now. So you can let it bounce, control it, volley it. Or, keep it up. Volley it. Or go in close, control, volley. Or head, 